Hello, and welcome to the Imagine Products YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be going over creating and setting up a copy preset. A copy preset can be used while on set to quickly offload cards to a chosen destination and maintain a consistent naming scheme. First, make sure you have selected the preset tool as indicated by the toolkit at the top of your screen. Then, navigate to the bottom left to create a copy preset. This can be done by either clicking the plus icon or right-clicking and selecting Create Preset. In the pop-up that appears, give it a name and a color. Then select Create. After this, the preset editor will open. Here you can rename the preset and assign a different color. You can also add your preset destinations, create an output naming scheme, and select the verification needed. You can add a destination in two ways either by clicking the plus icon or right-clicking and selecting Add New Location. Creating a naming scheme is one of the most powerful pieces of a preset, but it can also be the most confusing. To start the process, double-click in the central area. An output naming scheme will then appear, populated with a basic naming convention. Any of these elements can then be used and can be deleted by selecting it and then using the Delete key. To edit, drag and drop in new tokens or use custom text. You'll notice that as you edit, the preview above will reflect your changes. Most of the tokens available are pretty straightforward. One that is a bit more dynamic is the custom token. Once added, select the drop down arrow to edit it and then give it a label to identify later. You can then choose to add a value now or leave it blank to prompt user input on job start. After you've created your output naming scheme, you can move on to the last section of creating your copy preset, setting the verification. By default, this will match the preferences from your global settings. However, if you would like to override these settings, you can do so here. After everything is to your liking, click Done, and you're ready to start. Simply drag in your source or sources to the center queue and click Start in the upper right corner. Shopa Studio does allow you to have more than one preset turned on at a time. If this is the case, and your presets are all going to local destinations, they will be grouped into a single job. However, if one of your activated presets is going to a cloud location, that job will appear separately. After I click Start, you'll see that because a custom token was added in the output naming scheme, a pop-up appears, prompting me to enter in the needed information. Once started, select the job from the list on the right to view its progress, broken down by action. Here you can also view information about the job, such as a visual representation of the job's flow and the job's contents. Once the job has been completed, you can also view and share any reports that were generated with the job. That concludes our tutorial video, going over creating and using a copy preset in Shopa Studio. If you have any questions, please reach out to our support team or let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and as always, imagine together.